What's up, all my exotic babies? It's your girl, Exotic B, better known as Breezy B, and I'm back with another video. I want to say welcome or welcome back to my video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Y'all, if y'all haven't liked, comment, or subscribed on any of my videos, please make sure you do so. Go back and look at some of my older videos. Y'all, just stay up to date. So make sure you subscribe if you like this video. And yeah, we to get right into it. So I'm gonna sit on my seat to y'all because you all know I'm short. Your girl giving full 11, okay? But uh, pretty much this is a $200 plus healthy grocery haul, okay, y'all? So some of y'all I don't know, but some of y'all do. But I am a Scorpio, y'all. My birthday is in November. So period, that means that this tummy that is getting needs to go. So pretty much for the past month, I can say I've been detoxing a lot. And really bag on my products. If you don't know, I used to sell TLC. So Nutriverse, CBD, Detox, all that stuff. I don't sell it anymore, but I damn sure do take them products because they work. So I'm going to show you what I got in my haul. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that I got, um, not the first thing, but the first thing I'm going to show y'all is the plant-based grilled chicken fillets. Now I'm making up stuff. It's grilled plant-based. Oh, I did say fillets. Grilled plant-based fillets. So this is the Raised Roots, y'all. I've had this brand before and I really, really like this brand. So this is like... I know this is one that's going to be good. I haven't tasted the grilled ones yet, but I know it's going to be good because we have had this plenty of times, this brand per se, and it's always really, really good. You don't really know that it's plant-based. As long as you cook it right to your likings, it's real good. So, grilled fillets. The next thing that we have had multiple times, y'all, spicy plant-based nuggets. These are so good, and this is what we've had in our household plenty of times like this is so it's so good y'all with some honey mustard it's good i mean you can eat it by itself for real for real but you whatever dipping sauce you like it'll still be really really good so i really love these it's really a home favorite in our home so y'all gotta go try y'all some it's good so i've never had this before but i've seen them because y'all i'm trying to try more healthy coffee in her energy drink choices i don't really drink a lot of energy drinks like i used to like two years ago when i was working the day at the bank y'all used to hate drink energy drinks a lot but i didn't drink like red bull and stuff i drank the ones with no sugar no calorie all that stuff but i still want to get away from it i want to try more healthier things so i love 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 coffee so this was a oat milk cold brew coffee that i wanted to try and i hope it's good um but i got two of them for me and my stinky baby so we're gonna try these two together and I hope they're good though. I do. They look good. And alright. So then these are really good, y'all. Gardenia, I think that's how you say it. Gardenia, garden. I, I feel like it would say gardenia, but I'm extra and I be putting emphasis on words. So these sliders are really, really good, y'all. And they are plant-based chicken sliders. So they're called chicken sliders. Chicken sliders, y'all get it? I know I'm corny, but <laughs> it has some protein in there. Um, it's 190 calories. It's vegan. It's dairy free, and it's really, really good. I've had these twice, probably. Really good. All right, y'all. These are ultimate. Why do they feel like they feel like meatballs? They look small. I'm forgetting how small it is. But these are the ultimate gardenia plant-based breakfast sausages. The spicy kind, y'all. The spicy kind is the best. Kind. we've had these before and they are so 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 good so um y'all gonna see you know i'm trying to incorporate so i got this for breakfast and they are good i can vouch for these 
the ones that I've had before, I'm gonna vouch, I'm gonna vouch for them. I'm gonna stick beside them. So these are veggie spirals. So for people that don't know, I have psoriasis and I have really sensitive skin. I get acid reflux. I really am not supposed to eat dairy. Um, and the best that I've ever felt is when I was detoxing consistently, having my vitamins. I was not eating meat like that. And if I was, it was more so like a pescatarian, a little bit of chicken here and there, but more so on the salmon, fish, you know, side. And really removing pasta from my diet. Because with psoriasis, you're really not supposed to eat meat in amongst a whole bunch of slew of other things. I don't even think I'm supposed to eat tomato sauces because of acid reflux. But I find that if I take like the pasta out, it's not as bad. And then the more I detox, I can really eat whatever I want. But I choose to kind of like I'm choosing because I say I choose because I'm, I'm choosing to get back into the healthiness. So I got two veggie spirals. I got the frozen kind. I've had the fresh, like regular kind, kind of HEB, but I didn't want to get it was, it's real big and then they got like, it's either real big or real small so i wanted to get the frozen one we've tried beyond meat before but i don't know if we had the beyond meat meatballs but i know i've had plant-based meatballs before i just don't know what brand it was but i picked these i picked these beyond meatballs okay plant-based meatballs italian style 19 grams of protein but out. So y'all remember I said I'm not really supposed to eat too many sauce, but I'm really detoxing now. Like it's gotta go. So once you start, the good thing about detoxing, it really helps you to start like jumpstart your weight loss um, journey. And the journey, it could be 30 days, it could be 60 days, it could be however long you really want it to be, and whatever effort you put into it. So, it really helps to jumpstart it when you detox because you're removing all those toxins from your colon, from your body. Like, you're removing everything. And then also, it helps you to stop craving certain foods because it's removed from your system. So, it really, really helps to do detoxing. But for anything, but for you start any type of weight loss journey, you don't have to. But I do recommend it because I can tell you that's what helped me when I lost my 20 pounds. Like, I think I lost like 20 pounds. But I... But I even though I lost just 20 pounds, like, my face was different, like, everything. Like, I even popped some pictures up in here because y'all need to see. Because your girl was giving very much almost skinny. And <laughs> I was good. But, um, I got these healthy, healthy choice, healthy roasted garlic, um, tomato sauces from HEB. And it says no high fr fructose corn syrup. It's vitamin A and fiber, omega-3, blah, blah, blah. But I try to get a healthier version of tomato sauce. So that's what I did. So in this house, we love tacos. So I got salt-free packets of the Mrs. Dash. Did they give me the right one? Salt-free. Salt-free. Okay, this is a little different. Salt-free taco season, which I did not know that they had. I just, I really, so we got this delivered from HEB. And I really just searched salt-free taco seasoning, like in hopes to find it something close but this is perfect because I I really almost I really only get the other ones for spice, but I like cayenne. We use cayenne anyway. So we're gonna get the salt free packets because salt helps you to lose weight, y'all too. Because salt, we learned this, we learned this before. Salt basically ab absorbs the fat. So we got some roteo. We normally get the hot one. I, I guess I didn't pick it up, but Roteo is good for tacos. And when you mix it in your meat, it's giving good. Okay. It's giving very good. Very much so. Giving very good. Oh my goodness. I did this again. Y'all, why did I get a Keurig Express? This is my second time getting a cure. It's meant for me to get a cure. It's it's meant. Baby said she think I'm just throwing something in the car, but no, really, I looked at this. I looked at two different ones, so I thought this was just more of the single packs, but I didn't notice that said curing on it. But it's meant for me to get a curing, so I'm gonna just get one because I'm not 
gonna let this coffee go to waste, y'all. I love coffee. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. So my whole idea was really for the matcha because I actually got matcha because I wanted to start making my own matcha in the house. Kind of started trying to save some money, you know, Starbucks and all that stuff. I love y'all. I love Starbucks, but I I like I want to save coins. I like to spend money, but I really do need to start saving coins. So so I got matcha. And then my whole idea was to be able to add espresso to it with my oat milk creamer and stuff like that. But I guess we're just going to have matcha with the oat milk and it's going to get it. And then when I get the curate, we're going to use it too. So these are H-E-B granola bars. Um, I normally, I first of all, I had the Nature Valley ones, but they was giving sale. I, I tore them bad boys up. I, I, want, I tore them up. But they tasted, they didn't taste good. I don't know if it was how it was processed or... Whatever belt it was on, I don't know. It, it tasted funny, to be honest, but it was still kind of good. I don't know. But, so I said, I'm not going to get those no more. I'm going to get these H-E-B cons, y'all. Everything at H-E-B is good. That is one thing I can say about that market. You can eat anything from H-E-B and that shit be smacking. Like, it be so good. Like, H-E-B, I really love you. Seriously. It's high here. All right, so these are really babies because I love strawberries, but um, I don't really, I don't know. As, I, as I'm getting older, I don't really know if I like the chewy kind anymore. I don't really know if I care for like the feeling. I never really care for feeling, but at some point I did kind of like them. But I don't know, I just don't have a taste for them. So these are babes. And y'all see what it say? H-E-B. And that's one period. So I got some oat milk strawberry pops for these. Okay. summer strawberries and oat milk so it's kind of like strawberries and cream pops so these look like they're gonna be so good i feel like i might have had some before or i wanted to get some i don't remember but i will definitely give y'all updates on this food because i know it's gonna be good i'm excited y'all because honestly now that i detox so much i don't really crave as much like every day here and there of course like a little snack like yesterday i had like a snickers ice cream bowl but i i do i can say I'm really starting to crave more fruits and vegetables and, and just, it just now I'm getting back to that healthy cravings that I didn't have before I was detoxing. So I really advise if y'all want to be on a health journey or any type, detox y'all. Even if it, even if you got detox, it took me a month to really kind of redesign, not even a month, like I'm going to say like three or four, well yeah, like a month to kind of redesign and say okay i don't really crave this no more i really want some fruits like i just woke up like i really want fresh fruit like i don't want nothing else a little snack here and there like i said okay because i'm still you know like transitioning back into the healthy journey but y'all been really craving like healthy stuff and i'm happy about it and i'm happy to be back on my journey and all right i'm talking too much all right so i just from shredded lettuce This is for the tacos and whatever else this show be for. I think that um, we're going to do taco salad, to be honest, so we can kind of cut the carbs. Even though we do have taco, like, shells, so we have one or two of those. But, like, if you want to do taco salad, we got some shredded lettuce. I should have gotten, y'all know what's good, like, romaine lettuce, like the, it's like a half of romaine. And you make, like, instead of using the actual carb tortillas, you use the romaine lettuce. And I should have got some of those, but I didn't, but they'd be good. So I told y'all the cheese really be hurting your girl, okay? Cheese really hurts me. Like I have to detox. Like if I don't detox, I feel like it's sitting in my chest. Like it's really bad. So I'm going back to eating dairy cheese. So this is a dairy-free cheese. I don't. I never had this brand before. The other brand I had was like a Dia brand. A I think it's Dia. A Dia brand. The pizza they have is really good. It's it's all um plant based and it's really good. So. This is the cheese, dirty fruit cheese. Y'all know I had my turkey bacon. <laughs> okay. I, I gotta have my turkey bacon. So I got a turkey bacon. Bye now. I think I had two of them, but I mean, it really don't matter. I got two turkey bacon. This is a fresh salmon. Y'all know I love salmon. This is why I don't think that I would ever go completely vegan or vegetarian. I'm not going to say 
never say never but i really love salmon i love shrimp i love all of that so i really am the type to be more of a flexitarian like i like to be able to have different options but as long as it's healthy we good so i got my salmon i got some onions y'all i got this um this is h-e-b as well already cut dice prepared because the way my schedule been looking lately y'all cutting onions and stuff it just ain't been happening, so. Um, Mexican crumbles. I don't know how this is going to taste, but I said I'm willing to try. One thing about vegan food, any type of vegan, plant-based, it comes very compact, okay? So, if you have a family and you are want you want to kind of incorporate some, be very wary of that because look at this little baby thing. <laughs> but it's so cute. <laughs> It's so cute. I hope it's good, y'all. It says adobo on it, so I just feel like that's going to give good. So, I don't know. All vegan stuff seems to be high in protein, so I do like that because that helps you to lose weight faster. But, yeah, I'm excited. Got to have the grapes. Grapes. Got to have the pineapples, y'all. I love pineapples. Low-key think I'm allergic to them, but I like them. It ain't, it ain't to the point where my throat tingly. It just like my mouth be itching. Not my mouth itch because that sounds crazy. But like if I eat like four or more at a time, it's like my mouth just gets real like itchy. So not my, not my around my mouth, but like my tongue gets a little itchy, like tingly, like it's too much acid. That's all. But it's no, it's nothing in my throat or nothing like that. Like where it's like, bitch, you need to put the pineapple down. But pineapple's great. Y'all, I'm excited to try this. This is dairy-free Gouda cheese. And I love, love, love Gouda cheese. It melted. Not, don't, you cannot eat Gouda cheese like regular. That's weird. You do your thing. But it's good melted. Like, it's good. It's soy-free, lactose-free, vegan slices. And I'm excited to try this. I have not tried Gouda dairy-free before, but I love Gouda cheese, so I'm hoping it's good. H-E-B. Who made these recipes? I just really need to know where y'all get these recipes from. Recipes from. They're so freaking good. Everything I've ever ate, fresh, anything, is so fantastic. The sushi, everything. This is spicy guacamole. What? This is spicy guacamole, y'all. And it is, it's the best. Hands down, I got some Chipotle over there. Hands down, this is better. Like, H-E-B, I don't know what y'all be doing, but y'all be doing it. And it be so good. I got two things on you. Got my ground turkey, y'all. Ground turkey, okay. It's getting ground turkey. It's getting very much turkey lover. Love turkey. I have brown eggs over there too, but the carton is kind of broke. I'm going to show y'all what they try eggs with. <sighs> Basically, this is how they left your girls. Like, why would they do it like this? Why is it like that? This is why I need that egg carton that everybody getting on Amazon. And I'm going to get one because it rolls down your eggs. Like, who even made that? That is so, that is, that is smart. But this is what it's giving. A little crunchy box. I got a cucumber. <laughs> This bread. It is a two grams net carb, I think per slice. So it's five grams protein, four grams of fiber per slice, two grams of net carbs. It's called solar bread. I thought they were switching out for like the old one, but this is the sweet and buttery. Um, so one slice is only 70 calories. So that means that two grams of net carbs um one gram of sugar alcohol i don't why is it alcohol in the bread i don't know whatever probably like some type of bonding agent whatever but this bread is good and i got two of them um four total of these so two vanilla two um unsweetened these are really for like the smoothies and stuff like that. These is for like if I want cereal or if I need to put it in coffee or I don't know. But I really like the vanilla one. 
and this is like me trying to be like healthy healthier kind of thing and i got these y'all these are my favorite i love sparkling ices so so much for a minute there i thought they had it down here but i found them and i'm excited because these are good if you never had sparkling ice you gotta get you some. Like these are so good. The flavors are. This is kind of heavy. I'm put this down. Um, the flavors are black raspberry, cherry lime, orange mango, and I'm I'm gonna say kiwi strawberry because the top the top is cut off, but I believe it's kiwi strawberry. Oh no, I think it's just strawberry. Oh no, it's kiwi strawberry. So. Kiwi strawberry, black raspberry, orange mango, cherry lime is giving very much good. But yeah. So y'all, that is the end of my $200 plus healthy grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. And let me know if y'all want to do more of these. Like, like let me like are we in this together? Like, can I get some accountability? Because I don't want to do it alone. I can, but do it with me. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Make sure y'all check out the other videos on my channel. Make sure y'all follow, follow me on all my socials. If you're into astrology, make sure you follow my TikTok. Yeah, love y'all. Peace, love, and light. Make a nigga act right. Boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right.